Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another Let's Role Play. Today, we're playing Watch Dogs Legion, where I gain multiple personality disorder as I switch between characters and playstyles. Recently, we've uncovered a monstrous contract between Clan Kelly and Albion to traffic slaves and sell black market organs. DeadSec has teamed up with former police officer Caitlin Lau in an effort to bring Clan Kelly down. But we need proof. And a DA willing to back us. But Caitlin has a friend who may be willing to help. Let's get in there and bring these bastards down. So I finally have a controller. Uh, I'm not sure if I had one last episode or not, but uh, I definitely have one this time. So, hooray. Time to run around and see what we can do. It's a sick party, actually. Hold up. I like this place. I have a beer. Yeah. Alright. Now. Oh, I love this. Check this out. Oh, yeah, man. This is like everything. All right, so I'm Spanish right now, so I got to remember that. I got to remember I'm Spanish. I got to get that Spanish accent going to everybody who is actually Spanish who watches this. I'm so, so sorry for what I'm about to do. It's it's going to be bad. All right, so let's thank Antonio Banderas because I am horrible. Man. Oh no, Inigo Montoya, he's better than Antonio. Yeah, I love Antonio Banderas, don't get me wrong. But hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. It is time. See, all my accents turn out the same. Like, I sound like Jeremy right now when I'm really trying to be Spanish, but no, I, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it, I'm just bad. Hello. Hello, I am Rubio. The angel of death. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I do oh, not know where I'm going right now. I am wandering aimlessly. Why? Because I have forgotten to look at the map. Wrong button. Let's look at our missions. Alright, let's start with gap in the armor here. Putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Oh, fuck yeah. We take down big man Cass and break up his whole fucking Merc operation. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's fucking do it. Bagley's come across yeah, a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now that I have the controller, I'm a little bit safer on the bike, but uh, not by much. Because I do not know when to slow down. Although this is much more fun than walking. I, I'm definitely getting better at this. Although I'm driving like an American. This is England, we drive on the left side of the road. I don't know what just happened. Someone ran into you, buddy. You better look into that. Oh, sorry, American driver coming. <laughs> yeah, mate, that definitely hurt. All right, thanks. I'm I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. Oh. All right, I'm fine. 
There's fuckery, Sophie. I hear ya. Let's do this mission brief. Talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. That's some shady shit right there. That's some it shady is. shit. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince oh. him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. Yeah, and they have CT... CCTV cameras, so they uh, they have a bit of a leg up on us. I mean, yeah, I know we have access it to them too. It took some but doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely still. to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. You know, I've got a little anxiety right now. I think I think I need a drink, calm the nerves a bit before I go out there. I'm a bit of an anxious person. Getting arsehole and throwing bits of metal around has got to count as training somehow. <laughs> I love how wavy everything is. It's so fun. Hey, you have the same jacket as a friend of mine, lady. Hey. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a wicked fight, good. How would you feel about mixing things up a bit? Oh, you are dead sec. Good. I need help with something. I didn't say we'll I was see dead what we can sec. Do. What's up? My friend has been MIA since last week. Doesn't answer the that? door or pick up the phone. Who says that? Nah, that's messed up, man. My friend's a self-proclaimed anarchist and has been pretty active on that front lately. I'm worried something happened. Relax. Dead sex on the case now. No, we're not. I'm never gonna find her friend. I just wanted to talk to you because you have a jacket like my friend does. You could practically be her twin. Anyway, I'm not gonna recruit Sally. Not gonna, not gonna happen. Let's see where we need to go. Right, way out here. Let's go ahead and fast travel to King's Cross and run the rest of the way. I like your car. Oh, there's no one in this car. Okay. I love these sports cars. There goes another sign. Hi. No, it's cool, man. It's cool. Really, it's all good. It's all good. That guy's fine. He's fine. Oh. Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. 
Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Right, let's pop in and say hi. Let's Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Oh, oh I don't want to lose my life. Has. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. All right, cool. Open Hack into eyes. Hamish's flat. Let's see, what can I do here? This is probably a mission for Jeremy. He is the hacker after all. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Yo, Bagley, think I can get in through the windows? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Ah, cool, I'm all over it. I'm going to give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. And bring in my hacker. Good news, it's time to put your life on the line for the resistance. At last! They waited a long time! Hooray! I see, so he's on the roof there. that crane that he was talking about. Oh, what a nice little garden. Two hours later. I cannot figure out how to get in. I have scoured the building. I cannot figure it out. So instead, we are going to call in another operative. And fly to the top. Yes, Jenny. Time for you. Hello, hello. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Let's take to the skies. Why do I keep doing this? I do not want my weapon out. That's right, I gotta hack this thing first. There we go. <laughs> and I'm flying backwards again. Because I'm awesome. That's what Jenny does, she flies backwards. She's a maverick. the roof. Expert hacker. And now where, oh where, where's that box I saw on my cameras? There it is. Jack in here, deploy Jeremy's root kit. There we go. The man's got a proper setup here. How are we gonna bypass it? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Will do. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. Unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Yeah, we are. Can't see where that goes. That's still locked. But that's open now. It should unlock that. Excellent. Excellent. Hold on. I need that first. That routes power there. Hmm. Ah, 
Ah, I see. There we go. Alright, I need another camera angle. There we go. That's still locked. That's still locked. Perfect. Probably rotated that way too much, but whatever. There, that keeps power going to all of it. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Excellent. There we go. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Yeah, especially since I won't get shot by that nasty-ass shotgun. I hope you're not doing anything important. You've been activated. I'm game. <laughs> Got multiple projects going, so... This place is filthy. Move. One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, bruv. It's cool. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Nah, bruv. Think more underground. Yeah. What, dead sick? Yeah. Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Hey, Che. Oh, come on. Go on. Kill me. Fact is, Albion knows you're in London and you're fucked. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? God damn right I am. Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. No fucking shit, man. Why do you think I'm here right now, huh? Yeah. Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merc's work. Look, get this straight, you what? twat. What was I that? I want your help, and we want to get what back was, at Cass. that shit? He did all them bombings the hell wrote and that he came animation? for us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Oh, fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you won't lie about that part. Fuck, think, think. Shit, fight! We've tabled. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! I'm glad I did not bring Sophie to this. My paintball gun is practically useless against these things. It's like I'm shooting them with a pea shooter. Although that is doing some damage. Oh shit, I gotta get the hell out. Oh crap, there's guards there. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh crap, I gotta get out of here. Oh. I'm so happy that I did not bring Sophie. Oh, rest in peace, Rubius.